May I please introduce you to your main character of today? Bob. Bob is a beautiful, obese, out of shape man with a hefty appetite. Next to this, he ain't the brightest, and he is completely <coughs> illiterate. At the top of this beautiful menu of sadness, he's afraid of about everything under the sun. I think this just might be the most beautiful specimen God has ever created. He even rocks a fedora. <coughs> now you might think walking through the map is very easy, Comigum. You're just going to cower in fear in the forest with your recently discovered search area button. But sadly this challenge isn't that easy because I need to go to the four most important cities in Project Zomboid. Those are the US Mail in Riverside, the courthouse in Knox County and the town halls in both Westside and Louisville. And I need to collect something from them to prove that I was there. And what that little thing is, is something you'll discover soon enough. Now seeing as I have spawned myself on this corner of the map, I think the first best objective to do is Riverside. I basically need to only walk in a straight line through the forest. I mean, that can't be that hard. Although seeing my pants that were previously in not that bad of a condition, I don't think a beautiful specimen of a god creature named Bob is quite adept at walking through the forest. Do we've already got something interesting over here. A mushroom, great, that's a good start. I'm sure this will be edible and not give me gigantic amounts of hallucinations. What in the fuck is that? For as far as I know, there aren't actually creatures in this forest, so I am going to travel through the forest as much as I can. What is this? More random mushrooms? Don't mind if I do. Even more random chance to get high as fuck. Why is there just one random zombie in this forest? Ooh, it's giving me anxiety. Okay, let's just try and uh, get him to the ground. Please take a little nap. Now I should probably steal his shirt so I can make some rags out of it. Wait, what's this rope? Why did I make rope? What can I do with rope? Now I don't quite feel like hanging myself yet. No, <laughs> that's that's way too early. Let's not. <laughs> let's just not. Holy God! Where did that guy come from? Oh no, why did the- How is this possible? He just jumped out from the tree lines. What's that for nonsense? That was exactly what I was not planning on doing. That's very bad for the survival chances of Bob just Bob. Okay, now let's use these- Oh wait, no, of course, these are ropes. I can't use this because I wasted my bloody one shirt on something that isn't actually useful. Well then, I guess I've got no other choice than to sacrifice my beautiful Hawaiian shirt. You might not have served me long, but you've served me damn well. Okay, that should do the trick. Oh wait, a tank top, great. Well, this, this is almost looking sicker than before. I didn't know there was any clothing item that had more swag than a Hawaiian shirt, but apparently there is. Looks like I'm slightly hungry already. How about a grasshopper? I mean, I know the people in Asia eat them. Surely this can't do any harm to my American unadjusted stomach. But it just gave me anxiety. Or was that the zombie that just came out? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh no! How dare you bite me and my bandages turn dirty. Yeah, I don't think that Bob just Bob has got a very long lifespan left. And I didn't want to spoil this just yet, but just in case Bob dies, there's like two more Bobs lined up. Not that he's going to, but if he does, the next Bob is going to get a slight upgrade. But I'm still for some reason hungry. And is that good for my hunger? No, but it does make me sad. Maybe a mushroom. I, I don't want to be sad. Oh wait, that just made me more sad and nauseous. And it didn't make me high at all. What is, what is then the point of a mushroom? This search mode is useless. Hey, your road. Okay, let's just follow this uh, this road here for a bit. A bell? What? <laughs> Why is there just a random bell over here? What can I do with this? Sorry, Mother Nature, I can't do anything with that. What's, what's this? A piece of lettuce? Cilantro. Isn't that like some sort of spice? Or something you put on your salad? I, that might be edible. Please don't fuck me over. And now I'm depressed. <laughs> Great fucking job. Even if I was really trying, I don't think I could get that many icons on purpose. Hey, what's this? A cornfield? Don't mind if I do. Cornfields means farms. 
farms around means low density population and still some houses. So that might be a great place to spend the oncoming night. God knows that I need some rest. Always look on the bright side of life. Hey zombies. <laughs> Oh, and there comes the- wait, why are there so many all of us? What? What? What are you doing over here? Go away! Oh yes, that's what I want to see! Okay, but I, the zombies are still on my ass, so maybe I can lose them in this- Yes, it's open! What a luck! Please close the door, thank you. Now, quickly, steal everything that's inside here. Quickly, give me the crackers. I want crack, I mean crackers. <laughs> And the sugar, sure, sure, I'll take everything you get. And nobody suspects a thing. Now please shed have like a weapon in you. Yes, a metal bar! Anything else useful in here? Nothing that's gonna cure my depression. Uh, that's, that's the real thing I need right now, like serious antidepressants. Also a bed in a safe house. Okay, bandage reveal, how are we doing? Oh! Infected? Okay, that's, let's cover that up real quick again. <laughs> I don't need to see that, I don't need to be reminded of my imminent demise. Yes, it's a house! One zombie... Now, time to test out my state-of-the-art metal pipe. Oh, oh, that looked nasty. Night, night. Now, as long as there isn't like a gigantic army inside, this is looking very good. Now, moment of truth. Okay, this is locked. Moment of truth. Fuck. Oh, I didn't mean to smash that. I meant to open that. Moment of truth. Come on. Yes, let's go. I can actually get inside the house. Now, we first need to take care of something. Please don't notice me. Oh, shit. Food, yes! Ah, just what I needed after a long day. Now the only thing I need to do is to find something to mentally rejuvenate myself. Aha, yes! Word search, that'll get my uh, mood probably right up. And of course a good night's sleep. Wait, what is this? Too much pain to go to sleep? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I'll- wait a second. Oh no, I'm illiterate, are you kidding me? Oh no, I can't fix my massive de amounts of depression. What can I- I really just need crack now. It's morning already, and I haven't slept a bit, because I just can't. Well, I guess the only thing I can do now is just go to Riverside, I guess. This will only take a minute. Looks like Bob's a little too hot. So he's gonna take off his pants. <laughs> Who's gonna judge you? Just you. It's just your mind, Bob. Um. Um. Uh, uh. And now I'm exhausted. Where is that bloody riverside? I'm like about to break down. <laughs> Maybe heading into the forest will help me somehow. What is this for piss weak forest? This certainly isn't what I consider trees. Keep walking, just keep walking. I don't think this is working. Eh, like at all. At this point I don't know what to do. M maybe I can lose all these zombies and sleep in the forest. But I don't think I'm ever gonna lose these guys. But Bob ain't no bitch. Bob is not going out without a fight. Goodbye bitch. I hope you burn in zombie hell. Yeah, uh, guys, I, I think this is the end. Goodbye, it's been nice. He bursts into a zombie in like three seconds. But there is another. Since you are supposed to be an improvement, I'm gonna call you... Better Bob. Look, his receding hairline has even grown back in. Ah, now that I've got a good night of sleep, and I am finally not extremely fucked due to my perks, I think I finally stand a chance to actually accomplish something in my life. The only thing is, I do actually need to still find Riverside. I know it's somewhere up and to the right. Oh yeah, I also gave myself some starting food and water so I don't have to go raiding immediately. Wait, what? I was I was like 200 meters away from the town. Well then I guess one of the negative traits of Bob the first must have been bad eyesight because I am blind if I didn't see this before. It's time to immediately head to the center of town for the mystery item I was talking about before. Even walking through this little town, it takes so long. It's so big. Everything in this game is so large. Finally, it's the building. Hey, I'm Bob and I'm here to steal all of your cookies. Yes, there it is! Look at it! It's a beautiful, magnificent, gorgeous sausage! And I'm taking it and I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, yes, quickly goodbye, people! I've got what I came for! <laughs> now you probably wonder, Comagum, why are you chasing after a sausage? Because I thought the Great Sausage Hunt of 1993 would make for a great title. The only thing is, I think if I used that without context, people would just go, What the fuck? And not click on this video at all. But whatever you say. 
A video about a guy named Bob chasing after a bunch of sausages is hilarious either way. Now let's take a look at our progress. Ooh, that's kind of small. Oh my god, I've only done so little. Okay, I need to change my strategy. I know what I gotta do. I gotta find a car or something. And I never specified in the rules that I couldn't use a car. Now did I? The only thing is, I have some, uh, you know, bad experiences with getting cars. Yeah, I can remember it being a little bit difficult. Any usable cars in this neighborhood? No, those look pretty... Cracked. Well, at least this neighborhood's very quiet and calm. There's almost no zombies over here. But there isn't much sign of a, you know, functional car either. Oh, come on. How is there nothing over here? Finally, it's a car that isn't destroyed. I should know by now. There's just no cars in this game. Anyway, there's still nobody around. Why is there nobody around? Is this car, like, even functional? Yes, that's looking good. But it's got no gas. Okay, I can work with this. At least if I can find the keys. That's like the key here. Finding the keys. You get it? And since I can read, I can actually steal things like books and stuff like that. And what do we have in the fridge? I mean, oh yes, great, more bottles of water and other stuff to drink. And a bunch of canned food. Okay, fantastic. That should last me the entire trip. Hey, how ironic. This is sausage in the fridge. But uh, no, we don't count that. That's a fake one. That's a fake sausage. Please, let there be keys in the garage. Come on. Oh yeah, boy. It's an empty jerry can. That's almost as good as keys. I mean, I need that to get fuel, I guess. So it's just as good as keys. But without keys, I still can't do anything with this car. And what do we have over here? Holy shit, it's the keys. Let's fucking go. Oh, this journey just got interesting. Okay, that seems to be f sort of functional. Now I just need to go and get gas. And I... Oh, this is just... This is such a big thing. This is going to make my journey so much easier. The problems have been solved. Okay, I'm going to store everything that I want to take for the journey over there. It might not have been so long for you, but I've been recording for a couple of hours already. And turns out I still don't have that much time this week so i'm going to leave it over here and gonna pick it up next week or the week after i don't know maybe i'll uh, throw something in between that isn't uh, project zomboid next episode we're finishing this journey we're gonna get all them sausages and then be proud of ourselves we still gotta do three places that are extremely far apart so it's going to it's not necessarily going to be easy certainly knowing my driving skills but i hope you enjoyed it up until now Please let me know and see you next time where we will finish this journey. Bye bye.